Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I really appreciate you coming with me, Mjol. I guess after Aaron died, slaughtered by the vampires in Riften, you're alone, just as I am, and I appreciate having your company. But we're here, we've arrived at our destination. This is the outpost of Septus Cygnus, and I have something I need to give him. Come with me. If it wasn't for his help, I never would have gotten the Dragon Scroll so that we could destroy the Vampire Harkon. It's with his help that I have Ariel's bow, which you see on my back now. Come on. Septimus, I'm back. Dig, dwemer in the beyond. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is. All right, whatever. I've got the inscribed lexicon. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something okay, they why, why am I listening to this? No, I've inscribed the lexicon. The blood. Bear you what? hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Why are you so eager to open the box? Ah, the box contains the heart, ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. Who is your lord? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus no. Mola. I thought Not there him. were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two. For the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. Hmm, Hermaeus Mora. I've had more than my share of encounters with him in the black books. Let's go. All right. How can I assist you? We may look for the blood, but it's not going to be a priority. All right, Mjol, let's go. I'm itching for a fight. I bet you are. What the? It's Hermaeus Mora. What are you doing here? Come closer. In my presence. I already know who you are. I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching. Most impressive. 
You seem to have forgotten that we've already met in Apocrypha. Now what do you want now? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? I'll never join you, vile demon. Be warned. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. You saw that, right? All right, let's go. Keep your eyes open. I don't like the looks of this place. Well, if anything happens to me, you know why my life has just been threatened. By a Daedric Prince. Been traveling for days. Decided to stop in Windhelm. Ah, oh, there you are, Mule. You know... This is the first time I've set foot in Windhelm. What a dreary place. <laughs> it has that effect on people. I was thinking... There's a civil war going on. And the Thalmer declared themselves my mortal enemies. I think it might be time that I strike back at them. Come on. Intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on the White One. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready All to right, start this war in earnest then. Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. All right, gentlemen, excuse me. I'm here to talk to Ulfric. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? You do not know me. I came here, though, to fight the Empire. You've come to the right place, then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Spend We're ready when you are. Talent. I don't plan to Things stop now, no matter what the Empire says. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Dallas created the Empire. Many, I fear, still need convincing. think they'd show him more respect. <coughs> Some fancy armor these the men I have. Ulfric's fighting a holy war. All right, you, Galmar. Tell me, why the Breton want to fight for Skyrim? Because I want to strike back. At the Thalmor. For their impertinence. Skyrim is home to more than just Nords. Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? 
that's why I'm here. I want to join. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. I can handle anything you throw at me. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. <laughs> What's at Serpentstone Island? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Does every recruit have to do this? Only the ones I'm not sure about. Of course. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. Then I'm off to kill the Ice Wraith, and I'll be back soon. We'll see about that, won't we? Oh yes, we Let will. Them die with their false kings. All right, Mjol, let's go. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. The people are still weighing things in their hearts. All right, fortunately, I've been to the Serpent Stone before in my travels. For a nice wraith, I think we'll just use my daggers. All right, Mio, let's go. Here it is now. Damn it. That's how a true Nord fights. That wasn't much of a fight. All right, I'm back, Galmar. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Hmm. Isn't it enough that I want to fight the Imperials? You can stick a sword to an Imperial any day you want, but that doesn't make you a Stormcloak. We're not just fighting Imperials. We're fighting to restore Skyrim to her glory and give her the king she deserves. All right, then. I'll take the oath. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us, a hero of the people, a true son of Skyrim. A storm cloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. Even to my lord, as my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks. The true sons and daughters of Skyrim. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Hmm. All right, very well. 
What's demand. next? Mm. What's the mission? I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon. But if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. <laughs> what is the Jagged Crown? Have you not heard that ancient verse? Maw unleashing rays of snow, of dragons from the blue brought down. Birth the walking winter's woe, the High King in his jagged crown. Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the High King always wore the jagged crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, who would dare deny Ulflix's claim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow? How do you know that the crown is in Corvin Jond? It's true. The location of the crown was lost with King Borgas after the great hunt killed him while he was off on his damned Alessian campaigns. But legend holds. His body was secretly returned to Skyrim and buried with the crown. Its exact whereabouts lost in the following wars of succession. Through sources that shall remain nameless, I've tracked down what I believe to be the final resting place of King Borgas, Corvanjun. If the crown exists, it will be there. You anticipate danger? I. The Great Hunt killed old King Borgas. Gods only know with what profane arts those elves cursed his remains. Curses notwithstanding, the tombs of kings are always full of traps to ward off grave robbers, are they not? But nothing a band of Stormcloaks can't handle, I assure you. And what are your reasons for joining the war? Reasons? Since when does a man need a reason to protect his family, to defend his homeland? It's the damn Outlanders and Empire that need the reasons. Hasn't Skyrim always been part of the Empire? Not this Empire. The world's better without it. Certainly Skyrim is. I fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. I bled and spilled blood for the Empire. And for what? The Empire to bend its knee before those evil elf bastards? <sighs> Signing a treaty meant to kill the heart of the Empire itself? To deny Talos? No. I will have no part of any such Empire. And I will gladly gut anyone who says otherwise. Enough talk. The There's much hmm. to do. You are We're speaking my language. Woman on the throne. Yes, the elves Your must pay. Over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. All right, Mjol, let's go. Let those two bicker. No, but this one. If it even exists. All right. We'll head to Corvin June. Next time.